day in the word. John chapter 8 verses 31 to 36. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly I say to you, Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. As Jesus addresses uh, the people listening to him, his audience, he begins to talk about sin, enslavement, and freedom. Now, the people in the audience, the uh, uh, the Pharisees and the religious leaders especially, they had the uh, preconceived idea that, look, we are, come from a very rich heritage. We are Abraham's descendants. We've got, we are thoroughbred. We are a wonderful, have a wonderful lineage. And there is no way that we could be in any kind of enslavement, in any kind of bondage. We are uh, Abraham's descendants. But then Jesus points out, look, if you commit sin, then you're a slave of sin. So that means it doesn't matter what your lineage is or religious background is. If you're committing sin, you're a slave to it. And that's how many of us are, may feel. You know, we may have all kinds of religious uh, background to us, but the fact is we may find ourselves enslaved to sin. So surrounding this conversation, Jesus is then uh, telling us what it will take to walk into freedom. He says, if you continue in my word, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And that's in, in that same context, he says, if I set you free, you will be free indeed. But how is he going to set us free? By us continuing in his word. So as we talk about overcoming addictions, we said, first of all, we look to Jesus knowing that he has come to set the captives free. Secondly, we look to the fact that Jesus Christ on the cross broke the power of sin. Thirdly, we consecrate our lives. And now the fourth step as we talk about overcoming addiction, as the, in this whole process of being set free, Jesus said, we must abide in his word. You see, the word of God is, is very powerful. It's like water that cleanses. It's like fire that burns and pure burns off the chaff that burns off up and purifies. The Word of God has a cleansing effect on our lives. So I want to encourage you, take time every day to read the Word of God or listen to the Word of God because that Word will set you free. He said, if you continue in my Word, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The Word of God helps renews our mind, renew our mind as Paul writes in Romans 12. And when our mind is renewed, our life is transformed. When you change your thinking, your way of living also changes. But in order to change your thinking, you need to consistently put God's Word into your mind so that the way you look at things begin to change. Spend time in the Word. Abide in the Word. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Let's pray. Father, we just ask that you will help us understand the importance of your word in our lives and to spend time in the word and let your word set us free and bring truth into our lives, truth that sets us free. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.